Hey, this is Scott from OutdoorCookingMagic.com with Outdoor Cooking Magic Challenge number three. I'm here in American Fork Canyon. You got this beautiful setting, this stream behind me, and today we are cooking strawberry rhubarb pie. If you remember at the challenge, when I picked the recipe, it was brown sugar rhubarb pie, but I found out that today is National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day. So I decided to change the recipe, and we're gonna cook uh, strawberry rhubarb pie in a Dutch oven today. So I'm going to take one pie crust and roll it out into the bottom of this pie tin. And then I have uh, about a cup and a half of turbinado sugar and a third of a cup of flour that I've mixed together. Add a little bit of cinnamon, some nutmeg to give it a little bit, little bit of extra flavoring. And I'm going to put a little, mix it all together and I'm going to put a little bit of that into the bottom of this uh, pie plate. That's just so some of the juices I'll go down to the bottom there, it'll hopefully mix with the juices and, and form that kind of syrup that goes inside of the pies. And then I'm going to take the rest of this sugar flour mixture and mix it in with the rhubarb and the strawberries. I have about two cups of strawberries that I've had and about two cups of rhubarb that I've diced. Mix it all up. And then I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to pour it into this bottom pie crust. Now once I've got all of the filling in the bottom pie crust in the pie tin I've got some liquid spray butter I'm just going to spray on it just to give it again a little bit of extra flavor. I don't know if this helps a lot but I'm going to try it this time. And then I'm going to take the top crust and roll it out, put it on top, and do my best to seal it along the edges. I, I found out when I got this actually cooked I didn't have the seal very well. So seal it as best you can along the edges. That'll help keep the filling from bubbling out and spilling, boiling over. Here's what happened when, when I cooked it here. Once this is all done, I'm going to put it in the Dutch oven. I had a problem with my video. I did not get everything taped. I was pausing it when I thought I was recording and recording when I was pausing. So I'm going to put it in a Dutch oven. I've heated it to about 425 degrees, which is about 33, 34 coals, 18 on top, 16 on the bottom, in a in my tw in my 12 inch Dutch oven. Before I do that, I'm going to put some slits in the top just to allow some s the steam to escape, and I put it in the Dutch oven. Now here I have it in there. You see, I have it in a fire pit. We're going to check it and see. It's about oh, probably about a half hour into it. We're going to cook this for about 55 minutes total. And you can see it's starting to get really brown along the outer edge there. I had it in my fire pit and I realized it was really too uh, hot there by the fire. And so I moved it out, moved those, I'm sorry, I moved the, the fire away from it a little bit more so it wasn't getting uh, so hot by the Dutch oven. This is about 55 minutes into it and we're gonna check it again. And we'll see that it's pretty much done. It uh, looks like it's a little bit burnt. I actually was going to put some foil along the edges, but I used it for another dish and I ran out of foil. And so that would have helped to have a little bit of foil to put along the, the edges and when it finished. So I cooked it for about 15 minutes at 425, and then I took some of the coals off and I cooked it at about 350, 375 for the remainder of the time. And the top came nicely brown. Uh, that, that looks nice. The edges uh, were a little burnt. You can see, that uh, burnt is probably a little strong. They were a little brown, and you can see where some of the filling has uh, spilled out and become a little bit burnt as well. But all in all, this came out fantastic. And it's nicely brown on the top, and as you'll see in a minute, uh, everybody really enjoyed it. Very delicious tasting pie. Alright, we got the rhubarb pie out of the Dutch oven. We've got some whipped cream on it and now we're going to taste it.
Scott from OutdoorCookingMagic.com. I hope that you'll join me in trying to cook this recipe and let me know what you did to cook it. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash OutdoorCookingMagic uh, or on Twitter on Twitter.com slash OutdoorCook. And remember, everything always tastes better when it's cooked outdoors, even strawberry rhubarb pie. <laughs>